hello students so today we will see what is a source transformation and uh, use of source transformation in circuits and network so source trans for machines so basically a source transformation is used to convert voltage source to current source and same vice versa that is current source to voltage source so in this particular uh, lectures we will see what is a source transformation how we have to convert one source into another source that is voltage source to current source and current source to voltage source so we will start for the conversions so in source transformation first the voltage source is nothing but a voltage source along with the series resistance so for this one i will take dc voltage source v of s plus minus and the series resistance r of s plus minus so for this one the current is flowing from plus to minus so v of s equal to i into i r of s this voltage source is also uh, voltage source along with series resistance is also called as a thevenin's equivalent circuits so we will see in thevenin's theorems and norton's theorems so this voltage source again convert it into current source i will write down this one as a current draw it as a current source and parallel resistance r of p versus currents so already we must know v equal to what i r so i equal to what v by r so this i equal to this v of s divided by r of s and this i of p parallel resistance must be equal to series resistance similarly we have to convert this current source into voltage source with the same formula now a simple example we will take it assume v of s we will take it 1 volt r of s we will take it as a 1 ohm so here i equal to v of s we will put it 1 volt divided by r of s that is 1 ohm so current is 1 ampere similarly r of p that is parallel resistance equal to series resistance so that should be 1 ohm so in source transformation we will convert voltage source to current source so voltage source along with series resistance is converted into current source along with parallel resistance similarly current source along with parallel resistance is converted into voltage source along with the series resistance now we will see some shortcut methods to solve the while solving the problem for thevenin's theorem superposition norton's maximum power and source transformation so here if two current source are connected in parallel having a same directions so here i will mention i1 equal to 1 ampere i2 equal to 3 ampere so the resultant is again 1 ampere so we'll just check it the direction of current is upward for i2 it is again upward so here i will mention i of 3 equal to i1 plus i2 that is 1 plus 3 that is 4 ampere similarly if two current sources are there with different directions for example this is a 1 ampere and this is a 4 ampere so here you will write down like this the resultant is now listen here this is 4 minus 1 that is if you have to write down 3 ampere like this one the greater direction will be on downward side so we will take it like this one or you will also write minus 3 ampere both are same 
now we will go for the voltage sources similarly for voltage source if two voltage sources are there like this one plus minus plus minus 2 volt 3 volt so the resultant is plus 2 5 volt just check it plus minus plus minus similarly like this one plus minus plus minus this is 5 volt this is 100 volt so resultant is I will change this that is minus plus so here minus plus 100 minus 5 is 95 volts so we will go for the problems so start from the simple problem and go for the higher level of problems so in source transformation already i will explain that voltage source is converted into current source and current source is converted into voltage source so for this one i will write down the draw the particular circuit so for this one find I through 4 ohm using source transformations so for this one just check it I want to find out the current flowing through 4 ohm so I will keep this as it is I will not change this value or I will not convert this so first check it this is voltage source along with series resistance so kindly do not change this this one because we have to find out the current flowing through 4 ohm so on the opposite side i will go for this one here we will observe that current source is in parallel resistance so i will convert this just check it this 60 ohm parallel will be converted in series ohm and this voltage source will be converted in current source will be converted in voltage source so this will be again as it is so 4 ohm i will take it i will be flowing plus minus 6 volt now just check the direction of current it is upward side so i will write down plus minus if it is downward side so i will write down minus plus so already you know you know v equal to what i into r so we'll just check it i is 6 into r that is 16 ohm so 96 volt is there v equal to. okay so this is simple circuit now we are interested to find out the current flowing through 4 ohm so the direction of current is from plus to minus so i will write down like this i so i have to have, this one is the first loop so apply kirchhoff's voltage law for first loop already we will see qvn in earlier lectures so i will start from here just remember this is plus minus don't change the uh, polarity for this voltage source again this is plus minus so start from here plus 4 i minus 96 minus 96 plus 16 into i plus 6 equal to 0 so here 16 plus 4 20 i equal to this 96 will come on another side and this plus 6 will be on another minus 6 so 20 i equal to 90 so i equal to 90 by 20 so i equal to 9 by 2 ampere so i will make this 
this is the final lens that is a current flowing through 4 ohm resistance now we will go for some uh, difficult problem so again write down uh, find the current flowing through 20 ohm resistance using source transformers so for this one I will draw the circuit So find I flowing through 20 ohm resistance. So again we will not change this one. Now we will just check it here the voltage source in series resistance current source in pendulum. So do not change this one start from this side this voltage source along with series resistance will be converted in current source along with parallel resistance so just check the direct polarity plus minus so it will be like this one i equal to v by r that is 250 divided by 25 that is 10 ampere so resistance will be as it is now i will draw like this one again so this is 8 ampere this is 100 ohm this is 20 ohm now just check it this i is 10 ampere and this i is 8 ampere so this i and this i so I will shift this current source to this one. So for this one we will also call it source shifting theorem. Okay. So here I will write down I equal to 10 ampere lower side I equal to 8 ampere. Twenty five ohm, hundred ohm, twenty five ohm. From this one, I will find out the value of I. So here, these two resistance are in parallel, and these two are in additions. So here, just take it. Upward side ten, lower side minus eight. That is two ampere. So just take higher side direction. That is upward. So I equal to 2 ampere and for this one I will write down 25 do resistance are in parallel. So 25 into 100 divided by 25 plus 100. So just solve it you will get 20 ohm. So I will draw it here 20 ohm again this i is 20 ohm so here again this current source along with parallel resistance again converted in voltage source along with series resistance so for this one i will rub it so like this one Twenty ohm, twenty ohm here plus minus. So V equal to what? I by R. I I is two. R is twenty. Sorry. 
v equal to i r that is ohm's law v equal to i r i is how much 2 into r is 20 so that is 40 volts v equal to okay this is 20 20 so i have to apply kvl we have to find out the current flowing through the circuit so for this one the equation you will start from here current is like this one plus minus plus minus so plus 20 i plus 20 into i minus here from come from here it is minus sign 40 equal to 0 so 40 i equal to this side 40 so i equal to 40 by 40 that is 1 ampere this is a final result thank you